What up, guys? Welcome back to the garage. Uh, this is day three or four. I don't know. I can't really remember, but uh, working on the roll top desk. Um, we're going to be continuing on the headpiece or the headboard of it, uh, which is right here behind me. Go ahead and start hitting that with the uh, 220 with the square sander because my, if you guys remember from the other video, um, my orbital sander is out of commission right now because uh, the uh, sanding pad fell off of it so i ordered a new one it's on its way um if i get done with the uh, headpiece doing 220 with that i will go ahead and start on the roll top part of it uh, i've already actually done a little bit of sanding with that and it's actually in between the things that i've been hitting it so far um but yeah so if i get done with the headboard i'll go ahead and uh start doing that and yeah here we go So I ran into a issue. I kind of noticed when I was working on the sides of the headboard here, uh, a couple things came to me that the wood paneling that's here in between these curved spots right there, and the same thing over here in this spot, it's more noticeable. That's like incredibly warped. It's pretty similar on the other side here too. Um, you get some soft spots, big, big gaps in the wood. Um, and so while I was sanding this side over here, uh, no, over here, um, you can see this corner square, which I'm imagining is kind of holding everything together right there. And there's probably a dowel somewhere sticking up through here. And it's got this, uh, this joint right there that's kind of keeping those two together. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna to try to do, since all this is pretty loose, you can see there also, and it goes down there a little bit, is I'm going to try very carefully to see if I can remove this square as well as this whole long board here. I'm gonna try taking that out and we'll see what it ends up being like. So, so back to this, uh, when we're going to go ahead and try to beat gently beat these apart what you want to use is you want to use um, a very soft kind of mallet uh, this side has uh, like a hard rubber this is a little bit more dense plastic there um, but you want you don't want to use a straight hammer on it otherwise you're going to dent it and injure it also you want to use like a piece of wood as a buffer and then hit on it right there with your hammer that way it's not putting uh, dent marks that are in the shape of your mallet or your hammer. Okay, so that use your board for a buffer like that, hit here, and then you should be okay and safe to go with that. So here we go. All right, so good news and bad news is we got this piece out just fine. The bad news is uh, this little piece right here chipped and it's kind of cracking down this way so what I think we'll do is we'll probably take some wood glue and uh, clamp that together kind of like this right here and see if we can get that to stay back in place and not have to worry about that too much yep so good news and bad news
So I'm not completely sure the battery died at some point and I don't know when that happened. But as you can see here, I got, I was able to get that side off and this is that panel that goes like right there, right? Um, and as you can see, I haven't done anything with that, but that veneer is literally just peeling off. So what I think I'll end up doing, the veneer I'm going to be getting is about the same width, like it's a quarter inch thick almost. So what I think I'll do is rather than doing a, uh, keeping this center piece and putting a veneer over top of it, I think I'll probably just replace this with the uh, veneer that I'm going to get. Um, and that'll make that a little bit nicer too. And then I won't have to worry about that. So I, all I gotta do is take this, trace it out on the new piece, and then um, I'll be able to just fit that right in that groove right there. Um, and the other pieces right there too. So um, we got all that there cleaned up, whatnot. I'm actually going to call it a day for today. Uh, thanks for watching, hanging out with me. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how how much more we can get done in the next couple days and see where we go from there. So, uh, later. Bye.